chiropractic adjustments can help. Yep. And do some preventive stuff, like exercises, and that is probably that was a pretty good. That. that was a pretty good recap. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Brady. I'm here with Kaylee, uh, one of the CAs here at uh, Calkstein Chiropractic here in Towson, Maryland. And uh, today we're going to do a Q and A um, of lumbar spine, specifically uh, bulging and herniated discs. So, Kaylee, take it away. <laughs> All right. So. Many people, including myself, don't really know what the difference is. So what is the difference between a bulging disc and a herniated disc? Yeah, so I get that question a lot. Um, bulging disc is less severe. So if you think about disc herniations, it's kind of an umbrella term. Um, so you have a disc protrusion and then you have a disc um, extrusion and then you have a sequestration. So those are all basically levels there. Um, disc bulge is kind of like the precursor there. So the disc material doesn't really leak out as much as the other three that I just mentioned there. Um, and sometimes d does not have like a spinal cord compression or ner nerve root compression. Mm. What are common causes of a bulging herniated disc? Like how can I get a herniated disc or? Yeah, so um, age definitely plays a factor in that as well. Um, degeneration, um, any chronic um, injuries to the lumbar spine uh, makes you more um, prone to these type of injuries. Um, and then acute trauma, um, lifting injuries, that, that's a pretty frequent one. Um, field hockey, uh, volleyball. <laughs> volleyball, yeah, so <laughs> any like activity where you're loading uh, or the resistance comes down from the ground there um, and your back's not in that good position or you have weak core musculature um, not to support your lumbar spine, um, you're at a more increased chance of this happening to you. Interesting. Okay, so if I suspect that somebody or myself has a herniated bulging disc, how can I find out that I have one? Like how is it diagnosed? Yeah, so um, come to Calcine Chiropractic. Uh, we'll go through a uh, range of motion exercises um, um, and get an idea um, where you're at there. And then from there, we do uh, muscle strength testing is a big one um, in the office. Other orthopedic exams like straight leg raise, slump tests. There's exams specific for disc herniations um, so that if they're positive, uh, we can diagnose, and, and MRI is a, definitely a, a big um, factor that as well. Um, that would tell the severity, um, whether it's a bulge, protrusion, um, sequestration. Um, so yeah, through uh, examinations, orthopedic exams, and imaging. So chiropractic adjustments can help with yeah, the bulging. Yeah, definitely. And, and um, not only that, like the modalities that we use here as well, um, when you do have a disc herniation, there's irritation to the actual tissue itself. So the surrounding musculature is going to get super, super tense because your body's responding to all that increase in inflammation and that injury to the disc itself. Um, so dry needling definitely helps. Um, traction therapy or spinal decompression therapy is a really big one for our disc patients. That provides space in those foramen um, to allow um, other nutrients and blood flow to help heal um, that disc there. And then once you, we get you calmed down enough, we'll start introducing um, other things like core strengthening exercises and back strengthening exercises so um, we can prevent this in the future. That's interesting. Okay, so let's say someone's diagnosed with bulging disc, come and do chiropractic adjustments, it's just not helping. What would be the next step? With surgery, injections, what would be the next step? Yeah, and these disc um, injuries take take a long time. It can take, you know, as little as one month up to four, five, six months, depending on the case and, and what level um, of herniation that you're there. Um, but if we do a conservative trial care and you're not um, seeing the results that you want or we're not meeting the goals that, that you had um, for your condition, we... Uh, work with pain management specialists, um, orthos, um, and go from there. So if we refer you out to pain management, some people um, respond well to um, in steroid injections, or they might give you a steroid dose pack to help um, calm the inflammation and pain that you're currently in. So yeah, just kind of go through uh, that route. Let's just start with like pain management and other um, healthcare professionals, and then surgery as a last resort there. What kind of precautions can somebody take to further, like, prevent injury to the bulging disc herniated disc that they have? Um, prevention, 
I would say core strengthening is number one. Um, when you have a strong core that takes so much pressure off that lumbar spine, um, you build that mind to muscle connection to your, your core as well. Um, so you know when and where to activate the musculature to help support your lumbar spine. So I'd say that by far. Um, and then just be careful of your posture as well. Um, you, you don't really want to be lifting heavy st um, stuff with your back. You want to know how to properly deadlift. Um, so if you don't really know or aren't comfortable working out, um, there's great sources online. I know we have a couple of videos. Um, or somebody that you trust, talk to an athletic trainer, or personal trainer. And uh, yeah, learn to lift correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Big factor. Yeah. Well, I think that's all the questions that I have for right. your lovely Q&A. All right, sounds good. Well, um, I have a question for you. Oh, what did you learn here today? What was the biggest takeaway? Biggest takeaway. What the difference is between a herniated bulge. Uh -huh. Um, chiropractic adjustments can help. Yep. And do some preventative stuff, like exercises, and that is probably that was a pretty good. That. that was a pretty good recap. <laughs> recap of the video there. Just exercises, yeah. core strength, get it all. Get swole, it'll be fine. Yeah, get swole. And, you know, <laughs> the weather's pretty, you know, bad right now, so it's balkan season, so it gets swole. And then uh, cut coming soon, so. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, thanks for watching this Q&A video here with uh, Miss Swift and I, and uh, <laughs> we'll talk to you later.